morning everybody welcome to coffee and cards and i'm jennifer merle hampshire and this episode as every episode is brought to you by whispers and ink .net. i oh you guys great internet day today woohoo and i had my hair all glamorous already this morning but i went outside and this is what I get. It was all curled super cute. And yeah, this, this, is, this is the story of my hair life. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Anyways, so mom's sitting here with me. And we have, um, we had so much fun last night. I... Uh, love everything that everybody's posted so far. So if you are new to Whispers and in Ink, you're going to want to um, check everything out. Be sure to do hashtag replay because there are prizes. There are always prizes. So for hashtag replay comments and Paula, what is the third thing? Um... I give prizes away every week. I just did a mass mailing of a whole, whole bunch of prizes. Hey, Nancy. So don't forget to do your hashtag replay and make comments. And, oh, Nancy's on the ball today. You go, Nancy. <laughs> so when you do these things, that's how you have a possibility to get prizes. So thank you, thank you. I have a couple of orders of business this morning. You guys, there is a new host code. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the host code on my website is not the new one. It's the old one. So if you have questions, the host code here on the Facebook page is the correct one. And I will double check it after the video to make sure. That's exactly right, Paula. Good morning, Miss Sue. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is don't forget all month long you have the opportunity to pick up some designer series paper at 15 percent off so any um there is a list i will post the list and any all of the and i'm looking at my list it goes from 1150 us to nine dollars and 78 cents so the designer series paper regular price is 11.50 and the ones that are on sale are bumped down to nine dollars and 78 cents whoop whoop great way to stock up and you guys there's christmas paper there's uh wood grain paper there's pattern papers there's all kinds of other papers i'm just gonna scoot up in there okay whatever mom I'm i know Anyways, so all of that stuff. If you have questions, need help, then let me know and I will do my very, very best to help you. I hope everyone is here, this, um, is doing well. Yes, woohoo on the pattern paper, exactly. Good morning, Miss Kim. Um, Let's see. I did mention Mystery Card Night, did have so much fun. So I have a cool project for us today and I want, I need to flip my camera around so Hang on one second, and I will do that. One sec. So, hey, Kim. Rough morning for in this house this morning. So, Mom decided to go upstairs instead, which is okay. Trevor's here having coffee with my dad, and that's all right. It is what it is, right? All right. So... Today, as you can see, oh, I left my snack on the table. You guys don't want to see my snack. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I want to talk, and I want to talk about this palette thoughts today. And I wanted to play around with it a little bit, as you can see. I wanted to play around a little bit to see what I could do with creating a full page of wood grain. I love wood grain paper. And this, you guys, is super, super easy to figure it out. 
Yes, I did use my Stamparatus. And yes, I did keep this whole entire sheet as one and I stamped them all. Good morning, Carolyn. Kept it as one piece. Now, it's and there's you'll see a little bit of dents on here, you guys. This one's probably the worst one, but I'm going to show you how to combat that so that you can make your own wood grain paper. Because why the heck not? Great for masculine cards. Just saying. Hey, Sid. Everybody say hi to Sydney. That's my cousin. All right, so you're going to need a piece of cardstock. And I made mine four inches by 11. And I'm actually going to keep that piece. All right. Oh, Sydney, are you cheating, Sydney? You're at work. Shame, shame. All right. So, Sydney became an auntie about a week ago. So excited for you, Sydney. So excited. Cute baby. Totally cute. Anyways. All right. So, we have our 4 by 11. And we're going to take our bone folder, you guys, and we're going to loosen the fibers a little bit so that we don't get that dent. Just like that. Now, our cardstock is loose enough that it's not going to get that indentation in the, um, in the paper. So we're going to start obviously at the top and because I've done this a couple times now I actually have wood grain pattern here and I'm going to actually go off of that wood grain pattern just like that and here's my question for you guys now I know that because we're at my parents that you guys will be able to tell but I actually used a couple of different techniques here. I did crumb cake here. I did crumb cake with a little bit of early espresso, a little bit of a color variation there. And then I did early espresso here. And I kind of like that early espresso with the dark, that mix up. But what do you guys think? Oh, and you can tell the difference, good. So do we want to do all one color? Do we want to do some color variation? How do we want to do this? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And I don't know why. Oh, I do know why that is off. Okay. So what do you guys think? I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to take a swig of coffee. I have, I am fully caffeinated. I've had one full cup already. Ooh, Kim likes the mixed one. I do too, Kim. I do too. Everybody on board with natural wood has variation. I agree. Okay, then that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go back and forth. Now I'm going to give you some tips and even a little bit of a trick because you know I love tricks. And we're going to move this so that we're straight. My Jewelry's going to get stuck on it, on the magnets. Okay, uh, most everybody wants to do the mixed. Yay. You know who's not here is Liz not here this morning. Oh, good morning, Deanne. All right, so we're going to use both the crumb cake and the early espresso. I'm going to start with the crumb cake, which is the lighter color. And I'm going to ink this up. And because this is such a big stamp, you guys, no problem using the full size ink pads on this. And then we're gonna do our stamp. Now here's where the trick comes in. Sue 
I know you're gonna love this because she loves Stamparatus tricks. So there's our first image. Now we're going to move this up and here's the thing you guys, we want to line it up this wood with where the grain is that I've already stamped the couple hundred times already. Make sure that your paper is straight. You're gonna put your magnet up here and you're gonna put your other magnet down here, okay? That's our stamp setup. And here's the cool part, you guys. Because we're going light to dark, we do not have to clean the stamp this time. We can go ahead and ink this up and go ahead and do our stamp just like that. Now, once we're done with, hey, Taryn. Hey, Avery. All right. And for some reason, we need to get this a little bit better over here. And our issue is that magnet. There we go. All right. There, nice thing about the Stamparatus, because we've got it magnet in place, we can stamp as many times as we need to stamp. Woohoo! Oh, hey, Brody's on too. Yay. All right. So first thing, you need your chamois. And you need to clean this off because we're going to go back to the light. Clean that. Then we're going to bring this back up. Making sure it's straight. My head gets in the shot, I'm sorry. And we're going to put our magnet in place and put this one in place. And then we're going to be sure to check your colors. We're going with the crumb cake this time. And we're gonna stamp. And you guys, we could shift this down a little bit to give you some more room. I already had it set up. Good morning, Miss Erica. So there's that. And then, same thing. And no worries, you guys, we can bend these back. I didn't think about moving it down until just now, of course. Want to line yourself up. And actually, we can still do that. So that I know where the line is, we're going to do it like that. Tweaking. I love it when we can tweak stuff, you guys. All right. Adjustment on the fly. Now we can do a full magnet up there. Make sure your paper's straight. Oh, and it's slightly off. There we go. And then we're going with the dark. So what I just did, you guys, I was stamping up here. I dropped it down one level so that I could put my magnet up here because I already had it all lined up. Easy fix. Easy, easy. Do our stamp. Now we won't have any issue getting a full stamped image. Just like that. And then we're going to move our magnets. Remember, do not let these magnets touch. They will snap in place and it hurts. It hurts, it hurts. Make sure your paper is straight. And we'll do that. 
small magnet down here. We got to clean off our stamp because you can't forget where we're at. Oh, I'm getting my new, my new sheet all full of muck. Oh well, that's all right. All right, next level. I love my Stamparatus, you guys. I know Paula loves her Stamparatus. We've got our wood grain there, just like that. Now we've got one little section here, and you guys, I am going to color it. Yeah, the magnets bite for sure. So here's where, here's where I flipped it over to line it up this time. We only need one magnet, so don't worry about that. And we're gonna go dark this time. And there we go, our last little section. So there is the wood grain that we just created. So cool. I love the texture that that wood grain brings, you guys. Love it. Clean this off so that we don't have to worry about doing it later. Move all this stuff. There's Lynn. I was looking for you. All right. So good morning to the latecomers. So here's our one full sheet of wood grain. Now what are we going to do with it? So I'm going to bring this back in because I still need to mount a couple stamps. And it's always good to get a refresher for mounting stamps. Always a good idea. So Paula, I, Paula shared with me another idea on how to mount stamps. I haven't tried that yet. Um, because this one kind of works for me but I do want to try it the other way so I'm mounting that it's a good day and I'm also going to mount this little arrow because I thought that this might be kind of cool to use don't know what we're going to do with it yet But maybe. So Taryn, guess who's here at the house this morning? Brody and, and Avery. Guess who came to visit this morning? I was kind of excited. I haven't seen them in many, many months. And he's actually still up there, which is probably why I have no in-studio audience today, which is all right. All right. Keep that in there. We'll pull this out, though, first because I want to use this one. All right. It's a good day. Put that over there. Now, I have... And I didn't do any cutting because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. But I do know that It's a Good Day will fit on that scrap piece. And I'm thinking that we're going to use the crumb cake for the card base layer. And then we'll use the early espresso for the background layer of this. Which will really bring out that those dark sections. I thought that would be pretty cool. So let's cut this. And I think we're going to actually do two cards kind of quick. And I should have scored that first. Oh well. Taking a chance. And I'm going to score both of them at the same time. There we go. Two card bases, lickety split. Oh, we gotta cut this. Don't put the trimmer away yet. 
Now we know that I cut this at four inches across. So I think I'm gonna do this one at four and an eighth, but I think I'm gonna cut one of them down too. So four and an eighth. The, it is the Palette Thoughts is the stamp set, Paula. There's a great happy birthday. Hello, handsome. Um, thanks for everything you do. There's all kinds of stamp poss stamping possibilities on this one. All right, so we're going to do that. And I think I'm going to cut it this way. So we'll do one that's layered like this. And then I think... I'm going to do one like that so I can get two out of that. Um, shoot. That's the big annual catalog, Paula. That's in the big book. And actually, you know what drew my attention to it? And I'll tell you what page it's on. Hang on one second. Um... It's on page 137. Of the big catalog. Like this. What I thought was really cool about it is obviously this wood grain panel. And that's what attracted me to it. But Corrine brought it up to me. And Paula tagged Corrine so that she knows I'm talking about her. Corrine brought this up because I think that she had won this as a prize um from somewhere I am an enabler Sue and it's super cool though I love this sample here I have not figured out how to do the herringbone yet but you know darn skippy that I'm gonna well and here's the other thing you guys I like it because even this sample here has the wood grain in the back of it how cool is that totally a sign all right, so we're going to do, oh, wait a minute. Did I mess up that cut? Oh, no, I left it up there. Okay. Because here's what I'm thinking. No, four and an eighth by three and an eighth. Okay, that one's correct. All right, so... Oh, oh, that's the smaller one. Okay, all right. Here we go. So here is our second panel. And here's the other thing. Why couldn't we use the uh, stitched rectangles on here to make a board and then use a dark background? Oh, you guys, my brain is cranking. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hang on one second. I'm sorry that I kill your budget, Paula. I'm sorry. Kind of. All right. So what about doing... Apparently today you guys were doing three cards. Um... Oh, where's my bone folder? I know I had it already. Don't want to lose our sentiment either. Oh, there we go. All right. We got that. We got two card bases. We've got that. And then, where did I put it? I have one more piece of... There it is, wood grain. All right. Do, do, do. Apparently today we're going to be doing a couple of different things, you guys. 
just to give you the heads up because I have way, way, way too many ideas for this one. All right. I could do a whole class on this one, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, card base, four and a quarter by 11. Scored at just shy of five and a half. And then this is one and a half. I'm going to take my glue... And I'm going to add this wood grain piece just where the glue is, obviously. Good morning, Denise. Put that on there, and there's our easel, just like that. So that'll sit up. And then we're going to take... this piece and this piece and I'm going to go over to the cut and emboss and I'm pulling out the stitched rectangles and I had to go to the other side of the table to pull them out so here's what we're going to do I'm going to try and see Nope. All right, so we're going to do this stitched rectangle like this just to get that stitching edge on it, okay? And then, oh man, you guys, I really wish I would have brought a, oh man, I have a great idea. Great idea, but I don't have the stamp set with me, you guys. All right. But that's okay. I will share it later. So I'm going to run that through the stitched rectangle. And pulling that out just like that. And it only trimmed off just a little section of it, you guys. Gonna need your take your pick tool to get that other piece off. My great idea, and I don't have the stamp set, is my thought was, is take this, background it with the early espresso. I, my piece isn't big enough and I didn't bring enough pieces. And then take another piece of early espresso and do the you got this like a chalkboard. You know, chalk couture is all the rage right now. And I do have my Whisper White ink, but I'm short on... I didn't bring enough cardstock. So I'm totally bummed about that, you guys. Totally bummed about that. So you're gonna to have to wait to see the finish of this one. But how cool is that? That'll be pretty cool. Bigger piece, do like a stitch rectangle. Here's the stitch rectangle. Hey Jamie, do a bigger stitch rectangle in the, in the early espresso and then do a circle of the you got this in the stitch circles. That's my idea. You guys are gonna have to wait to catch that. I'm super excited about it, but I promise I will share it. Let's work on these other two pieces though that we kinda have figured out already. So we've got this piece, goes with this, this, oh wait, this goes with this, and these two go together. This one and this one. Bummer. Hey, Connie. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm glad you like it, Sue. Okay, so we're working with this palette thoughts. 
you guys. And this is a little reveal on this one. So we want to work that. We're going to put this one together too. Skinny reveal on this one as well. Like that. And this one I think I'm going to put this way, you guys. Do, do, do. And actually... You know what we could do? I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Because we'll do the, we'll mount the Hello Handsome because I think the Hello Handsome would fit on that. Much fun today. All right. There we go. Now, just for kicks and giggles, just for kicks and giggles. Oh. That would work. That would be better. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, Kareen, I was talking about you. You missed it. Totally talking about you. So you'll have to catch the replay. All right, got the Whisper White Craft ink and I'm inking up my Hello Handsome. And we're going to stamp that on here. Hey, Trisha. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Paula. Hey, you never know where the inspiration is going to come from, you guys. You know, you never know. I had a plan. We have deviated from the plan. All right, so I'm going to go, I'm going to die cut this out, and, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Go around the table. Like this, like this. You guys, playing with the new cut and emboss, I love it. It's so easy to transport, you guys, bringing it to my parents. Love it. All right. Here is that. Let me get this pulled out of here. Uh-oh. Jump. I didn't do it on an angle. That's what happens. Run it down one more. Oh, shoot. So, funny thing, you guys. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Look what happened. My ink was still wet. Oh yeah, you can totally see. <laughs> Whoops! See, I'm in such a hurry because I'm so excited. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. All right, so we're gonna put that on there like that. And this I'm gonna put on with dimensionals. It kind of does look cool. I thought so too, Paula. 
that's why we're kind of going with it. All right. Brody, I'm doing, if you're still here, Brody, I'm doing the Hello Handsome just for you. Oh, Kim, that's a cool idea. Oh, I already cleaned it. All right, let's see. Do I have a piece of scratch? I do. There we go. Great idea, Kim. There we go. All right. And there we go. Great idea, you guys. Great idea. I love it. Love it. All right. So we're going to put dimensionals on this too. However, I'm thinking maybe we could put a splash of fall in there. And let's see what else we got in here. Do, 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 do. I have my take your pick tool and we could do, how about like that? Great minds, exactly Kim, exactly. Great minds think alike, you girls are good. That's what I'm thinking. It does take a village, Paula. That is exactly correct. Hey, Brody, tell me, what do you think? If you're still here, Brody, tell me, what do you think about that? Could I send that to you? I do wish I had my sponge, though. Because those oranges are a little orangey. What do you think, Brody? All right, guys, so all I'm doing is kind of inking up the edges of the leaves, and I'm just got gliding it along the ink and I'm not pressing but you can see just the tips are a little bit darker and if you want to you can try and make your stem a little bit darker uh, yeah I know Paula Paula needs to brighten it up I I understand Paula and I didn't do dark really dark I just did a little all right, so this, we're gonna tape runner this. And we're gonna put, I think we're gonna put that there. Take our dimensionals off of here. Put that there. And we need glue dots. I had glue dots. Where did they go? Where did they go? Hmm. You guys, did I use all the glue dots last night? Oh, nope, here they are. Here they are. You guys, Paula has issues with the super dark cards. It makes her sad, I think. There. So there's card number one. Woohoo! All right, card number two. Do, do, do. We put that together with that. 
And we're going to bring in, I see those hearts, you guys. I see them. Thank you, thank you. This one. We're going to do a bow. We're going to do a bow on this one. And I'm bringing in the reverse tweezers. Just like that. Holding that so I don't have to worry about it staying taut. No, they're not black. Paula, they're not black. Silly. All right. So there's our bow. Thanks, Denise. And then, oh, my nose is itchy all of a sudden. All right, we're going to slip this down the back just like that. Oh, yes. So, because it's going to go like that. A little bit long. There we go. A little bit long, but that's okay. We're gonna bring in this other leaf. Oh, Paula. Paula's getting treasures. We're gonna pull in this embossed maple leaf and I'm thinking just for good measure, I think we're gonna pull in some purple leaves, you guys. What do you think? Because, you know, it's my card, right? Are you guys too opposed the, to the purple leaves? Because I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're gonna put that leaf there. And then Nancy likes the purple. Fun cards. Oh, Sue, we'll catch you later. Okay. Thumbs up. Fabulous. And then we're going to put the It's a Good Day on here. And we're going to stamp this in the early espresso. Brightening it up just for you, Paula. There we go. It's a good day for a good day. We all know that. It's always a good day for a good day. Trimming that. And I think I'm gonna do a long flag on this one, you guys. Long, long, long. Because we'll tuck this in here. And then we'll get some. You know, I'm thinking, you guys, thinking that we need to use this darker. Sorry, Paula. Or we could use that. in a couple purple uh, and add in an orange. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to play around with this, you guys. So we've got purple leaves. I've got pumpkin pie leaves. I have Cajun craze leaves. All these leaves 
This is all from the bits and pieces container, you guys. I took them out, brought them with me. I like the orange big leaf in the background. Are you guys with me on that? We like that. If you guys are with me, I'll, I'll adhere that. Making a mess. Corrine, I wish you were here. <laughs> Making a mess. I put that on, I put it on the wrong side. Okay, Kim says she's with me on the orange. All right, so let's adhere this. Paula even says yes. All right, so here's that. Let's adhere this piece too. I'll put some dimensionals on that. Just like that. We're going to put our sentiment in place also. It's a good day. Right like that. So, so far, everybody with me so far? My camera's up too high, I can't see. All right. Oh. Oh. Hey, you guys, what about just that? I'm kind of digging that. Apparently, I'm not the only one. Woohoo! Oh, Kim really likes that. Okay, I see that. All right, so we're gonna, I'm doing both dimensional and glue because I want the leaf to look like it's moving. So we're gonna tuck it like that and we're gonna do the same thing with this one don't be afraid you guys to do two different kinds of adhesive you could do a glue dot on here too there we go do we need little leaves you guys Let, let me get my finger out of the way so we can look. There we go. Do we need little leaves on here or do we like it just with those bigger leaves? I think I'm kind of digging it with just the bigger leaves. Goodness knows I have a lot of leaves left. Kim says just like that. I'm thinking so too. It's starting to look a little bit too busy with all those little leaves on there. I'm with you guys on that. Totally digging that. I wanted to point something out, you guys, that I forgot to tell you last night. Now, you guys know about the tulip punch, right? Tulip punch. And... The tulip punch can be a ghost, but the tulip punch can also be a cauldron. 
I meant to share this with you guys last night because we were working on Halloween stuff last night, but how cool is that? So those that have the tulip punch, flip your tulips upside down and make some ghosts or chop it off and make a cauldron. Just to share with you some little bits of info. I think, see, what did I bring? Ooh, I think this one might need Yes, awesome sauce, totally. I did not bring the tulip punch with me, but good information is always helpful. And that's what I got for you guys today. Two fabulous cards and another one in the works. A fun fold, actually, in the works. I hope you guys had a great day today crafting with me. I'm gonna go visit with Trevor a little bit more and then I gotta pack up because I got a full day today, you guys. Totally a full day. I gotta get all my goodies in order here. Because I got more to do. If anybody's got any questions, you guys know how to get a hold of me and make sure to put my pieces back. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I love them too. Super fun idea, great way to use your Stamparatus. Another great way to use your Stamparatus, I should say. And I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys joined me. I appreciate it, you guys. Have a great day getting crafty. And don't forget, if you're watching the replay, do hashtag replay. Have a great day, guys. Bye.